So today we put two downpipes right side by side. We got um, two of the XL size, the three and a half by three and a half downpipes. And it's kind of unusual that we would put two right so close together. Usually um, we would rarely do this. But because of this property, there's uh, no other place to put any downspouts on the, uh, on the house. Um, we could have put some other downspouts at, along the side of the house, but they would have went into the weeping tile, and they're the old clay weeping tile, um, which then we can see here. There's old uh, clay and concrete, and the homeowners are really worried about um, the potential for a leaky basement in regards to using those. So we decided that with... Um, with their approval, we do the two big downpipes right side by side. So in this house, all the water funnels right to this area. And then we have two, then we have two downspouts uh, that extend out into the front yard and Tony can kind of shoot and show there. Landing on the splash pad and you can see the distance. It's quite a distance down to the, uh, to the street as well. We're going to have quite a volume of water coming out of there, and this is the perfect yard in order to set this up. The majority of that water should absorb before it gets to the street. Comparing this system to what they have, a lot of people would think that you'd need more than two downpipes. But in actual fact, we've doubled the capacity of this house in terms of the drainage. One of the biggest things you can do with your eaves troughs is put in a big downpipe, and that's what we did here. Our downpipes are double the size of what used to be here, so although the house had one downpipe at the other end and then one here that went underground, we've now got two here that are double the capacity of what was originally on the house. So we've um, increased the capacity by double, and I'll show you the downpipes as a comparison. i got a couple right here. So this is the size that we put on. It's um, this one's a square pipe. It's three and a half by three and a half inches. And then the one we took off was the two inch by three inch. It's our old uh, rectangular style. So three inches this way, two inches up. And when you do the math on this, three and a half by three and a half is uh, about 12 square inches, where two by three is six square inches. So we got double the capacity. So there's a big difference in volume. And especially when you're trying to get creative and make sure all the water ends up on the yard instead of having to go down under better for the basement often. And often too, um, if you're concerned about the environment, it's better to put the water on your own grass and then it's not going down a pipe somewhere and into some ravine where then it goes into our rivers and streams. So it's much better if we can utilize our water on our property if possible. I know not every house is, uh, is set up to do this, but we had an opportunity to do that here and uh, we're quite excited about the results.